Well, g'day, Glav here, and thanks for checking back in. This Glav's World Harley ride sees us head up to Harvey Bay for the weekend. The ride sees Dave and I ride up on Friday. We do the whale watching thing at Harvey Bay on the Saturday, and Dave and I ride home on the Sunday. The other guys and our partners drive up in their cars. Weather for the whole weekend was crap. Uh, we got wet riding up, wet riding back, and it was blowing a gale out in the boat and raining as well. But hey, that's the luck of the drawer, I guess. Still, we got to see some whales, and also we got to ride up and we got to ride back, so I can't complain too much. Apologies on this video for the lack of sound, same will be for the next one. My GoPro 7's history again. Less than two years old and they won't do anything under warranty. That's three GoPros that have all failed now in a very short period of time. Um, I'm really pissed with them. It was really poor customer service. Hey, if you haven't done it already, do me a favour, will you? And please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button as well. Happy days. Let's get friggin' on with it. Heading northwest across Wyvernhoe Dam. Christ, the water's getting low. We're now passing through Esk. No stopping for coffee today. Heading north between Tugulua and Blackbutt. Great bit of road this. So we're at the um, Black Butt Pub having lunch. I've probably got another, I'm guessing, four hours riding. Easy to do yet. Um, pretty cool place. Having a good feed. Happy days. Time to have some fun. Still heading north towards Goomery. So we stopped up the road and put the wet weathers on, it's rained on us a bit on the way through. Um, we've stopped in Biggenden for a coffee, we've got about an hour and a half to go. Got to say the coffee is absolutely burnt, disgusting, but anyway, beggars can't be choosers. Dave, can beggars be choosers? No, they can't be. Oh, okay. You get what you get apparently, yippee ki -yay. <laughs> We are passing through Childers. Childers is a really nice town, but it's notorious for all the wrong reasons. 
20 year anniversary has just happened for the famous, or infamous I should say, backpacker fires, where a low life mofo purposely lit the backpacker hostel and 15 young people tragically died. Our current idiot government's actually considering paroling this murdering prick. We're rolling into Harvey Bay, Uranga. We're seriously wet now. Breakfast at Harvey Bay. So here we are about to line up for the spirit of Harvey Dale way, way off the watching tour. Have a go at the weather. Weather category shitty, but shittier. So we're on the top deck of the Spirit of Harvey Bay, about to go out whale watching, similar to this boat that I'm filming now. This is the Harvey Bay Marina. It's quite a picturesque little town, too far away from anything, but um, apparently they call it um, home of the nearly dead or home of the nearly wed. Um, Anyway, we're going to head out to the sea in a minute and see what whales we can see. But you can see out there in the distance, it's fucking rain. Whose idea was this? <laughs> well, who, who's, whose idea was this? It's early Sunday morning and I can't sleep, so I've decided to wander down to the waterfront and throw the drone up before we check out and head for breakfast. Sunday morning, just leaving the Ramada Hotel. This is Maribara. Estimated population, 27,000 people. This is a really beautiful, underestimated town. It's just full of beautiful old colonial architecture.
On the left here, we have the Tin Can Bay Army Training Facility. We're just passing these MAN trucks. Got to say, there was a lot of time and effort that we put into capturing that and assisting with the securitisation of that contract for MAN. This is the Gympie Hills. By God, I never knew it was so pretty and beautiful through here. Passing through Gympie, must say, never appealed to me. Uh, to be frank, this is real deliverance country. Da -da ding 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 ding. Squeal like a pig for me, boy. So Dave and I have stopped at Kenilworth for a coffee. I got a bit soaked on the way back. He was a bit smarter than me. He put his wets on. Oh yeah, he's wet too. Good to see. Anyway, we're just pondering about whether we head from here up the postman's track. Great little bit of tight, little nasty bit of road, but on the wet, absolutely treacherous. So we'll see how we go. We'll make a decision when we get there. These are great twisties between Kenilworth and Conondale. I'm just being rounded up by a pack of sports bikes. Dave and I are just rolling through Conondale. There's a lost dog on the left here on the side of the road, need to be freaking careful. Going across the top of Mount Mead, always spectacular up here. Dave and I have just stopped for a rest break and to stretch the legs because we've been riding for hours under pretty ugly conditions and this is the washroom but have a look up here hope you can see that but there's a uh, big python snake up there that would give you a fright if you were sitting in the wrong spot Hope you enjoyed this latest Glav World video and please remember, live life today.